Welcome back to the workshop where Bertus and I have been getting our hands dirty, demystifying the braking system and just how important it is for all of us road users to be doing preventative maintenance before something goes wrong. Bertus, welcome back, my friend. Hi, Graham. We know the components involved now that make up this braking system. Today, we're gonna to break it down even further and replace our brake pads. Where do we start? Today is gonna to be very interesting, especially for the guy liking to work on his vehicle himself. The guy doing his brakes Saturday morning DIY style. I'm gonna show the people how to strip the, the system or the calipers and fit the brake pads the correct way and the safe way, ensuring that you always stay in control with even the work that you do yourself. The first part is removing the caliper itself. And remember, the caliper is split into different sections. This over here is the cradle of the caliper, and this is actually the caliper that does all the work. First off, we start removing the slide pins that holds the caliper to the cradle. The slide pins help the caliper to move freely and must be well lubricated. Remove the inner pad by pulling on it. Then make sure the rose clip is free and there is no strain on the rubber hose. If we have a look, I can actually see a fracture on that friction material over there. That's due to the fact that these pads were originally fitted to a worn set of brake discs. What happens is the backing plate actually flexes and the friction material is rugged, it can't move. So it starts off with a fracture and sometimes results in something very similar to this, wow, where the friction that. material completely displaced from the backing plate. You have to remove the cradle to get the disc off, so remove the two bolts. A lot of debris builds up on the cradle and needs to be cleaned. So now we're removing the disc, but we must make sure that we remove the retaining bolt first. That actually keeps the disc on its place. There we go. There we have it. And there we go. As mm. easy as that. And just by quick in inspection, we can actually see that the disc is worn. Yeah. And we'll have to measure to make sure whether it's in specification to be able to be skimmed. Otherwise, I think today we're going to fit a new set Put of new one discs on here. After a quick safety inspection, the cleaning process begins. It's important to have a clean face for the disc. So use a normal steel brush and run it in a straight line. That's a dream. It looks good now. Yeah. Now it's time to have a look at the new discs that we've ordered. Right. Remove the new disc from the packaging. A tip is to always compare your old disc with the new disc you've ordered to make sure that it has the same specifications. You can do this by checking the diameter of the two discs, as well as the offset and the bulk pattern. What I want you to note is the thin oil film on the disc itself. It's there for protection to prevent it from rusting when it's shelved okay. in a spare shop waiting for the consumer to buy it. And we have to clean that off because you must remember any contaminant on the friction material might cause a failure in due time. Yeah, right. Next, clean the disc with the solvent-based brake cleaner to make sure there is no oil on the contact surface where the pads need to run. Repeat the process for the cradle. You can then start reassembling it by fitting the disc on the hub. Remember, before you fit your pad, you can check the authenticity of your Ferodo product by downloading the app from ferodo.co.za. Just scan the QR code on the box to make sure it's not a counterfeit. Then fit the inner and outer brake pads, then the wheel, and you're done. Albertus, you've given us some great advice and nice safety tips. Any tips for our viewers today? If you're not comfortable fitting a set of brake pads the correct way, rather take it to an expert that does it day in and day out. It's got the right equipment to work on your vehicle and it's got the ability to keep you and your family safe with their knowledge. Can't all have our own Baptists. <laughs> Thank you Great. so much. It is as easy as that. You've just got to follow a little common sense and be meticulous. Make sure all the parts are properly cleaned and properly installed. Let's get this job finished.